Is temperature a physical property of matter? YouTube user Sparg insists that temperature is a physical property of matter. A vacuum contains no matter, thus it is absurd to say a vacuum has heat or even a temperature. Absolute zero is when atoms have no kinetic energy. Your knowledge of science is so lacking. Sparg may be teaching what he has been taught. Another quote from his post to me on the video Unlimited Free Energy Identified. Excitation due to ionization of the air molecules. In order to ionize a molecule, atom energy is required. This is expressed in the form of heat and a rise in temperature is observed. Temperature being a measure of the average kinetic energy. Air also gets hotter due to friction, fire, heaters, and sunlight. Are you going to say they also pump electric electrical energy into the air? Is this what you learned in school? Funny, I remember being taught something like this too. Sparg also wrote, the sun gives off electromagnetic energy and particles. These particles produce friction, though a very small amount. This is best observed at the heliopause. Most solar energy is in the form of photons which excite atoms and cause them to vibrate, a form of kinetic energy. So we are being told that the sun gives the earth kinetic energy and electromagnetic energy. These energies cause atoms to vibrate. The vibrating atoms are in friction from rubbing together and this friction, kinetic energy, electromagnetic energy is the heat in the air. It seems that a very simple test will prove this to be true. All we need to do is measure the air temperature, the heat in the air. For our experiment, we will measure the air's heat in a sealed chamber. Then we will remove the air from the chamber. With the air removed, the chamber will no longer have the frictioning kinetic energy excited atoms of the air. No matter, no heat, for temperature is a physical property of matter. The chamber's temperature should drop to absolute zero or 459 degrees below zero, right? Or in the very least, the chamber's temperature should change very noticeably. Here is shown the top of a glass vacuum chamber. The upper vacuum gauge shows no vacuum. The lower temperature gauge shows temperature at 95 degrees. Now remove the friction excited air and increase vacuum to four pounds. Do you see what I see? After two hours the temperature is still 95 degrees. The heat is not in the air. The heat stayed in the vacuum chamber and could not be removed by vacuum. Can electricity be vacuumed? No, it can't, can it? This proves that the heat is not in matter nor atoms. Then it must be in the space between the matter and the atoms, right? Now you see where the term space energy comes from. What does this mean for you? Could it be that we were taught false things because science did not know better? Has science been hiding the truth or someone else?